should have worn your little beanie like mine. It really helped. I know, it's in the backpack. I should have worn it. We caught this perfect. If we would have delayed our trip one day and come tomorrow, they lied. We're getting wet. Jason one, chicken wing zero. That over there is the Horseshoe Falls. But look how close. Our, our campsite's completely lit by lights. It is. We're going on a boat ride. We're gonna get wet. Am I adorable or what? We made it. At long last. Pretty cool. Oh. This isn't what you think of when you think of New York, is it? But we're in New York. We are actually at Seneca Lake, on the Finger Lakes at Sampson State Park, and we are in camping mode. Yep. We are just gonna chill, recharge our batteries for a couple of days in the beautiful outdoors and the sunshine. We've completely set up camp, not cutting any corners. We put our Halloween decorations up and everything. It's gonna be a good couple of days. Yep, I love running the roads and seeing the country, but sometimes you gotta take a pause for the cause, and this is what the doctor ordered. Got the uh, home base set up. Even get the Halloween decorations, we're in the spirit. It's Friday, everybody's coming in to camp out for the weekend here at the Finger Lakes, and ah, feels good to me. They are pulling in like crazy. That's the cool thing about LA, it's like, it's like, done. I love her. She's been a good girl. I cleaned her wheels off today at the gas station. Nice. Look how pretty. she got like new shoes on. <laughs> so we ran into something we've never had happen before in that our electrical pedestal is way over there. So needless to say, our electrical cord will not reach that far so we went to the front desk or the park desk and said um excuse me is there any way we can move to another site because our electrical cord will not reach and she said no we are completely full this weekend so we cannot move but you can rent an extension cord for two dollars a night i said yes please give me an extension cord Bingo. so never had that happen before so we may need to invest in an yep. extension cord yep. for the rig that's on the list we learn things as we go and double A batteries. And double A batteries. <laughs> because we forgot a certain cool, anyway, that's another story. Yeah. What have you got there? This is our fire pit. It's the first time I'm gonna use it. We've been carrying it around for a long time. I've never used it. Howdy, how y'all doing? Check that thing out. All right, here's the lid. All you see is pop out the legs, I think. Yep. Oh gosh, that was hard. Look at this, you guys. Pull the peg. Pull the pin, I mean. Oh. There you go. And there you have it. Right here. Put that at the bottom. Only thing... There's no holes at the bottom of it. So, if you have... If you're going to cook on it, the grease is going to puddle at the, at the base. So what I would recommend is putting some aluminum foil down to catch that. Mm -hmm. And then when uh, the smoke clears the next morning and it's all cool, then you can take that uh, foil and just fold it all up and throw it out of there and no messy mess. That's a good idea. Or I'll, less mess. I'll go get the foil. Okay. Uh, your tenderloins. Look at Elisa's light job. Isn't that cool? Yep. Our, our campsite's completely lit by lights. It is. I think that's awesome. And our we got um, a little flag too. Yeah, and our up lights are solar charged, so the right sun's there. down now, but they've been charging. So when it gets dark, we'll turn those on. It's not dark yet. The rest are plugged in, so they can run as long as they want. Got the steaks on. We got the steaks on. Got a couple beef tenderloins. They're not fillets. They're just beef tenderloins. Got them all seasoned up.
So the weather is holding for us. It's like 58 degrees, perfect, sort of. Not freezing, that's the big point. We're at Niagara Falls. So this is something I've always wanted to do is come see Niagara Falls and we are here. So we haven't decided if we're gonna cross the Canadian side or not, or if we're gonna do the Maid of the Mist boat, but we're here at Niagara Falls and we're figuring out as we go. We're really close to Canada. There's Canada. Here we are. It just amazes me that that much water pours constantly day after day after day. And it is moving. Oh my God. Look at the mist. trying to decide whether we're going to do the Maid of the Mist boat tour or not, which is what I just showed you. That boat down there, everybody's got the ponchos on. Probably can see it a lot better from down there. I talked him into it. We're going to go do the Maid of the Mist boat tour. We're going on a boat ride. We're going to get wet, maybe. We have our tickets. Today is October 24th and it's the last day of the season that they're running Made of the Mist. So we caught this perfect. If we would have delayed our trip one day and come tomorrow, we wouldn't have been able to do this. Everything happens for a reason and we're here to where we can ride Made of the Mist. But right over there is the bridge to Canada. So you can walk over to Canada across that bridge. We've got our passports, we've got our vaccine cards, but we don't have a rapid test and we were not going to pay $250 a person for a rapid test just to walk across that bridge. Nope. Next up, ponchos. Look at all the tourists getting on the boat with their pink ponchos. Well, I guess we're, we're, we're a part of that group. <laughs> Am I adorable or what? You got it? How do I look like a salmon? So the good thing about having to wait for the next boat is we could pick the spot we wanted. And we got right up front, so we're gonna be like the first ones out into the mist. They lied! We're getting wet! We're getting really close to the American Falls and we're getting very wet. We are Does wet. Someone serve hot chocolate around here because they really should. Should have worn your little beanie like mine. It really helped. I know it's in the backpack. I should have worn it. Now my hair is all wet. When you're done, you can keep them or you can recycle them. American Falls. Bridal Falls is just a section. Part of, of it, yeah. And then the ones over here is Horseshoe. The big U-shaped one at the end. It got us all wet. Yeah. We're learning. Look what we found. This hot chocolate and coffee is so perfect for today because it is like 50 something degrees out here. About 53, 54 degrees. It's chilly and we got wet and so hot drinks kind of warm the soul. But on the way to Terrapin Point, so we crossed the bridge across the falls. We're on the other side of the falls and we're going to Horseshoe Falls now. We ran into a little cafe where you can buy snacks or you can get hot beverages. 
which is what we needed. It's crazy how close you can get to the falls. So this is the Canadian Rapids here. We're on Terrapin Point now. That over there is the Horseshoe Falls. But look how close. We're so close to the water. I don't want to be in that water, but it's amazing. Truly one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. It's misting standing up here on Terrapin Point. Oh yeah. You can feel the mist all around us. It's all wet here. Yeah, right down there when we were on the boat is where we just got completely drenched. Down because there. Because there's yeah. so much mist coming off the Horseshoe Falls. Well, I'm all wet again because when you stand right here at Terrapin Point, there's so much mist coming off the Horseshoe Falls that it feels like it's raining. Like seriously, feels like it's raining. If you look over in the distance, you just see mist like coming everywhere off these falls. Ah, there's more. I love Niagara Falls. This has been an amazing experience. One of the great natural wonders of the world. But it is nothing like I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be very mountainous driving in and it's quite flat driving up to it. It's mm -hmm. really weird. And then they have all this touristy stuff built all around it, which I should have expected that. The falls didn't disappoint, but it's just different. It's not that it disappointed, but it's just different than what I thought. I'd do it again. We made it at long last. Look, these are the guys that started it. This is the birthplace right here of the chicken wing. Take, I'll take 20. All right, so the drinks are here, and uh, I got me the Anchor Bar IPA, obviously. Oh. Mm. Well, that tastes good after running around all those Niagara Falls. <laughs> so I got the local OSB cider, and she said right now, it like I guess they change it up. But this is a pumpkin spice cider. It smells like pumpkin. It tastes like pumpkin. It's very fall. Mm. But it's cold, not warm. beef cut really thick served on a Kaiser roll and it's called roast beef and weck. That is really good roast beef. Mm. This reminds me, I know this is the birthplace of the wings, but it reminds me of like how Arby's came with their roast beef sandwiches because it's served with horseradish yeah, sauce. Which I love. So this place might have you know rubbed off on Arby's too, but this is really good. Fried to perfection. Crispy, snaps when you bite into it. Crunchy. Jason tore into him before I could get the camera ready. Mm. Wow. This ain't Buffalo Wild Wings. This is the OG right here. This is a superior wing for sure. She's gonna give me some extra sauce because I get really wet. I like my wings really, really wet. And although these are pretty wet, I still like to dip them. <laughs> uh, but uh, man, this is a treat. I am in heaven right now. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. The sauce. A little different than what I anticipated. The sauce is much thinner, more vinegary um, than I was anticipating, but I love it. Mm. 
the wings are fried to perfection. Like, loved it. Great wings. Were they yeah. everything you thought they would be? Yeah, I think so. I think so. You know, when you're eating something at the place it was originated from, it kind of makes it a little bit more special. And so, it's a chicken wing. You know, there's only so many ways you can do it. With that said, I'm, I'm eating it here at the Anchor Bar in Buffalo. <laughs> Casualties of war. Jason won, chicken wings zero. He didn't get the shirt, it didn't happen. That's right, I came, I saw, I ate the wings, got the t-shirt. And day. I'm one happy dude. <laughs> I'm one full dude. Yeah. I ate all 20 of them babies. Great place, man. This is fun, this is awesome. It is a very rainy morning here in New York and we are putting our sticker on. I had to bring a towel out to dry off the sticker spot. We had a great time in New York. So a nice relaxing couple of days at a campsite, Niagara Falls, Buffalo Wings. Pretty good trip if you ask me. So sticker on. Another one down. We're knocking these things out, aren't we? So we're heading to Pennsylvania now. It's supposed to be raining today, so I'm not sure how much we'll get done, but we're going to Pennsylvania. That right there is a brewery. It's a harvest house, and we are staying in its parking lot. There's only one other guy back there, see? We are on our way to Pennsylvania, so we'll see you in Pennsylvania. All right, let's go. Oh. Take, take two.